apart from the build number and the fact it says Neptune in the new login screen there really isn't that much difference between this and Windows 2000 it's virtually the same thing as you can see you could probably run the same programs as you can on 2000 as well but apart from that it's virtually the same I'll just show you the new parts but this video isn't going to be very long because there really isn't that much to show unless you just want to look at Windows 2000 this is probably the most interesting part of this build the login screen as you can see it's similar in layout to Windows XP but apart from that it's completely different really this down here if you click it it will just shut down the computer you have to hold shift if you want to reboot it doesn't give you any options there's the host name of the computer I like that down there actually you've got the guest account and the techsnap account guest will just let you log on anyway and TechSnap is the account that I've been using, it's an administrator account and here's the second interesting part Windows Identities and this is where you can customise the stuff there's really nothing to it change my picture there's some preset pictures there there's the sample picture change my name, you can call it whatever account type there's more selection here the adult one lets you install software and things the owner one is, is administrator basically child is limited and similar to guest and then you've got change my password and you can have password hint guest account same thing it's on guest though apart from that it's basically the same it's just Windows 2000 and that's all there is for this video actually I could show you this file a bug report this is similar stuff that you'd expect to find in a prototype you can you can report problems like crashes and stuff whereabouts it happened how often it happens, describe it in detail, what you expect to happen and how to reproduce the problem. There's the system information I guess if you wanted to collect any other system files like system information or anything you could add them and then you could submit the bug report 1999 Microsoft, I'm not going to submit a bug report because it's pointless you've got tools and tutorials which just says list millennium tools and tutorials help index which is basically going on to the usual help system now and this is a lot like Windows ME it just it doesn't work but yeah apart from that it's basically the same getting started it's Windows 2000 there as well and it's probably compatible with all the Windows 2000 applications anyway so there's really no point of using this because it is slightly unstable at times but yeah it's interesting to see what it looked like anyway and how it worked again this is all the same stuff you've got comments there which just shows the usual old thing you know when you're prototype testing Windows you get this stuff right and that's all there is to it actually that doesn't even work interesting that does though